Next, we're going to talk to Sagittarius. Hangman. Waiting. Hanging in the balance. Recognizing that in order to pursue ourselves and to do this work of filling ourselves up, we are going to have to hang in the balance. We're going to have to get comfortable with this uncomfortability. We're going to have to relax in the idea of our cup being empty for a while. This is a theme for everybody. This is huge. This is a hanged man year in general. The rest of 2019 is going to be a lot of us like feeling like we're not making any forward motion or any forward progress. But if we stay conscious of what we're doing, if we integrate the two sides of ourselves. You know, we see this blue top and red bottom. These are the masculine and feminine principles and we're being asked to integrate them and balance them in a conscious way so that we can get as comfortable in this uncomfortable position as possible. So we don't have an influx of energy on one side of our body versus the other. You know, the thing with being comfortable as you're hanging is to stay as in balance as possible. And when we do this process consciously, recognizing like say Sagittarius energy just really wants to expand it wants to explore it wants to go out it's a fire energy so it gets frustrated when there's no movement but recognize that pursuing the self sometimes takes some goddamn stillness it takes you sometimes being hung in the balance and being like hey dude like you have been bursting forward your entire life now the pursuit of self is going to ask you to actually sit in these uncomfortable emotions to ask yourself what do I feel and what do I think and what do I want to experience as a result of what I'm going through now? How do I work this all together for my benefit? Where's the wisdom here? I can't move forward. What can I learn? Sagittarius, you know, I know you guys want to express outward physically in a lot of ways, but don't don't take for granted that your, your deepest uh, desire is to expand intellectually, so to understand in a deeper way. So while your fire wants to explore, the deep desire is to fill the intellectual well, that intellectual cup. It wants to understand more. So recognize every no, every hold on, every wait a second, every not right now is giving you more opportunity to learn. And if you can embrace that as the abundance that it is, you will find yourself feeling better. You will find yourself feeling more and more abundant, more and more lucky. And it is the kind of work that you need to do to prepare yourself for when timing says, okay, time to move forward again. Maybe that'll happen in Sagittarius season for you. Who fucking knows? But the point is, is that you'll experience the most grace and abundance here. If you're willing to be still and recognize that information and knowledge and diversity of experience comes from not moving too, comes from stilling your mind when you just want to go forward and move. When you do this all with consciousness, you know, you're, you're, you're conditioning yourself in a new dimension of wisdom. It's, it's, a, it's a maturity that, that you're really being called to here. And that will help you get much more clear on how to move towards what will serve you when the universe says it's time to start moving again towards what serves you, right? So again, being open to integrating, staying balanced, uh, recognizing what you can learn from not moving and being conscious that right now the universe is saying no progress. It's not going to feel like you're moving. You don't get out of, you know, that feeling of restlessness. You've got to learn to consciously sit with it, breathe with it, and get comfortable with it so that you can actually grow and expand. <laughs> 